This video applies to any My Language Lab course. There may be a case where you would like to set a personalized time limit for a student on a specific activity that they're taking in your course. This means that you would like to give this student a different time limit than other students for the same activity. You have an easy way to do this inside your My Language Lab course. From any course, go to Course Materials, and from Course Materials, you'll first need to do a step to change the display to a specific student. This would then allow you to customize the activity, um, including an online test, for that student only. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a box called All Students. If you click on that box, you'll then see a list of all the students in your course. What you would, like, what you would do is simply just click on the name of the student that you wish to have uh, a different personalized time limit for. So I'm going to click on the second student in this list, Bailey. My display will now change and I will navigate through my course materials and locate the specific activity that I would like to change the time limit for. In a lot of cases, this most likely may be an online test or quiz that you're giving inside your My Language Lab course. You can find your online test or quiz in many places depending on where you decided to place it. Once you've located your online test or quiz or any other activity inside your course, what you'll do is just put your mouse over that activity and click on the options arrow. From there, you'll notice you'll have an option for personalized scheduling. This option will only appear if you have specifically changed the display content for a specific student. So if you don't see this listed in your list, you may want to go back and check and make sure that you selected a student um, from the display in the upper right corner. Click on Personalized Scheduling, and from there you'll be able to scroll down, and underneath the calendar you'll see a place called Personalized Timing, and just click on the box to enable a personalized timing, and then you'll be able to enforce an at activity level, which we highly recommend. Just to clarify, this timing has to do with when the student clicks and opens the activity and the amount of time they have to complete the activity before they submit for grading. If the student does not complete the activity by the allotted time limit, the activity will be auto-submitted in for the student with their answers saved and scored appropriately. If you've set a specific time limit, you'll notice that you'll see it up here towards the top. At this particular activity, I have not had a time limit set yet but I can still change it to a specific time limit for the student that I'm currently personalizing. Click Add Activity Level. This means from the moment the student opens that specific activity, they will have a time limit. Um, then you can put in the time limit in the boxes below with the hours and minutes. So for instance, if you wanted to give them a time limit of one hour and 30 minutes, it would look like this. If you wanted to simply give an, a time limit under an hour, you would keep the box 00 on the left and then put your minutes in the box on the right. When you're done, simply click Save. That student now has successfully been given a different time limit than the other students in the course, and only that student would have that specific time limit. You could do this again for any other student you needed to do by just simply going up to your box and clicking on another student's name. This concludes how to set a personalized time limit for a student on an individual activity in your My Language Labs course.